Hi busy bees, welcome to my channel Riale Eyes. It took me almost like 4.5 months to get my stem OPT approved. So uh, generally you are allowed to start before 3 months uh, of your OPT expiry date but I suggest you to start your process 4.5 months before uh, because at least you will take that 1.5 months to figure out what you have to write in your I-983 and to get your uh, STEM OPT I-20 so this actually will save a lot of time when you hit that uh, 3 months mark. Uh, let's see the step-by-step -step process. Uh, the first step is applying for uh, STEM OPT I-20. So uh, for that, you have to file I-983 uh, application and you have to send that and upload it in your school portal so that uh, our like your DSO will review it and uh, approve your STEM OPT I-20. USICS have provided us with basic instructions and I will provide this particular link below in the description and when you click this one it will be redirected to form I-983 and from which you will have to download the application and you should fill that. Let's fill this together. Uh, basically, section one is about your information, your name, email ID, the school that you went to and uh, the STEM degree and also like the service digit which you can find in I-20. And uh, you should also fill your DSO name which you can find in your I-20 or you can get that information from your school. You can find service ID information in your I-20 and uh, next is STEM OPT request period. Mine ended on 2024 uh, June so it will be two years after that. Yeah. Uh, so all this information you have to fill exactly same as it is provided in your I-20. The EAN number will be provided by the employer itself so you don't have to worry about it. Section 2 is all about your signature name and the date that you are filing this application. For sign, use Adobe. Section 3 is something which will be filled by your employer. So you don't have to worry about it. Uh, so most of the information will be filled by them. And I am kind of providing you what was being provided by my employer. So this is kind of a basic information which will help you to verify uh, once you receive the information from your employer. Section 4 is again their signatures, their name and the date at which they are filling this application. So they will take care of it. Section 5 is an important one and this is being filled by both student and employer. So uh, you can write all the details that belongs to you and employer can fill uh, the information that they should that is mostly regarding the site information. You can ask your manager to fill this part uh, mostly like describing what role you're working on and how the subjects like finance or analytics helps you in the current role and because you know you have to prove that uh, your stem accreditation is useful and you're still working on it so you have to describe all those things and also you have to explain what are your goals and objectives moving forward how would you like to use those skills and move forward in the same position and get further then uh, the employer oversight is 
the training plan that was being provided to you by your manager when you have joined so i was given like a three months of training plan saying that uh you have to make sure that you understand everything within the first month and then meet relevant people in the second month and take over the entire project from the third month so that is how i have written and uh, the last one is measure and assessments so based on my training plan i was being measured on how i was performing during the first three months and what are the courses that i am taking so you can mention all those details and the last additional remarks i kept it like uh, empty i haven't filled anything so it's fine and section six is uh, as it is uh, you have to fill the your name and uh, your adobe signature and the date that you're filing this application and uh, the next section is evaluation on student progress most of people will miss this so i have missed it when i first uh, started filing this application so make sure you are filling all these details uh, including the final evaluation so you have to actually ask your manager to give you some insights on writing the final evaluation on student progress so this should be filled and this should also be filled i've missed them completely so i have to send my uh, application back and ask them to fill these but make sure you don't miss them and fill everything as part of your application since you already have like filled your i983 it will take a lot of time because it has to go through to and fro between your uh, compliance team or your uh, uh, manager so everybody like all of them have their bits to fill in this particular application so it will at least take you one month of time to completely finish this application get it approved by uh, your dso from your school and uh, receive your uh, i20 so considering all this so it would be better if you start uh, at least like one month or uh, like one and a half month before your uh, three months hit point so uh, after receiving your stem opt i20 uh, you have to go through uh, usics portal and uh, apply uh, upload your stem opt 20 that you have received and uh, you have to fill a lot of information in there let's go through that in part two thank you so much i hope you find this helpful please subscribe and uh, like share and comment this particular video so that it will help me it will motivate me to make more videos thank you so much